Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer lives in London. Let's see what he has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. How are you today? I'm okay. It's a busy day, but I'm all right. What's oh, I'm so I'm a psychotherapist. Okay, cool. And um, I work in the NHS and right. uh, also privately here. Great. And what's the best part of your job? Hearing people's stories. Wow. I think more than anything else. And also being lucky enough to be in a situation where people tell you, and because I, I, I specialize in sex and relationships. And so okay. you hear the most intimate details right. of people's lives. Things that they don't even talk to with their partner. Right. Um, and you get the chance to think it through with them. And of course, I think the best thing is when people become well again, actually when the intervention has worked. So yeah, that's probably the best. Great. Rob, hmm. welcome to William and the Magic Box. Well, you have, you've got a magic box. Yes, I've got you a magic actually box. actually have a magic box. I do, I do. And there are a lot of really, really nice questions over here. I'm sure you're going to do very well. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a prize? <laughs> um, let's see in the end, all right? Right, so I'd just like you to help me to shake it out a little bit, the magic box. I'm going to put some music on. Let's open the magic box and let's get the first question. Are you ready? I am ready. Yeah, perfect. So, uh, the first question is, who do you talk the most on a daily basis? Oh, who do I talk to the most on a daily who basis? Do talk, yeah, who do you talk I, the most? I think probably my best mate, who is called right. Jonathan. Um, and um, I have known him for about 15 years. Okay. And we talk every day we probably text during oh that well and probably see each other around about twice a week we co-parent a dog so <laughs> oh there you go so, it's a dog. oh i see I so see. she lives between us because of our work schedules we can't have her in one place so she oh. moves between the two places she's amazing good are you ready for the second one i am ready for the second one <laughs> Let's get the second question. Okay. Oh, right. What is the worst thing one can say on a first date? Someone can say on a first date. What the worst thing? It's a good question for you, actually. Are you top or bottom? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting that. <laughs> you were expecting that. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually. <laughs> I'm just blurring you know, right now, can you see? <laughs> <laughs> the idea of kind of over-sexualizing a first date, I think I find very uncomfortable. So uh -huh. I guess I, in my heart, I am more of a romantic. Okay. But, yeah. Right, so let's go for the third one. <laughs> Are you happy today, Rob? I am actually, yes, I'm happy because it's Friday. I know. Is... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's go for another question. Okay. What was your best friend's name growing up? And why did you consider him or her to be your best friend at the time? Wow, that's a really interesting question. And I guess, I guess it would have been, and I'm just kind of thinking it through here, I think it must have been a guy called Daniel. Um, okay. And I had a little bit of a crush on Daniel as well. There we go, there we go. He didn't have a crush on me. But actually what we did get out of it was a great friendship that lasted throughout the whole of our school days. And, um, you know, I was kind of the geeky one and he was kind of the really sporty one. And those two worlds don't really mix in a kind of school environment, but it somehow worked for us and it allowed me to kind of be accepted by the kind of the lads and uh -huh. I was able to share my geekiness with him. Right. Rob, let's go for another one. Are 
Are you enjoying so far? I am. Yes, I'm. Yeah. I'm intrigued by your magic box. Great. Yes. <laughs> a lot of a lot of um, nice questions. Do you know what's coming out of it? No, I don't. I know because oh, it's a sick one. Uh, yes, it's this is the whole thing of the program. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to come the right questions for the right best. Right. It's about school again. If you could make up a school subject, what would be? If you could make it up. Do you know what it would be? Which one? And I don't think I'm not making it up. And actually, uh, I'm aware of some schools that probably do do it. But I think a class in meditation from a very young age oh, would be what I would want to oh, see wow. taught in schools. That's great. Think, yeah. Ready for another one? Let's I'm ready for another, another one. Right, let's go for another one, Rob. How do you make friends? But I think as I've got older, it really is through friends and fr of friends. And it's still a growing circle, which is wonderful. So, you know, there's always somebody new to meet and always somebody new um, to find interest in. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go for another one. Let's okay. Right, let's get another question. Rob. Yes. If you could have dinner with anyone living or not, who that would be and why? You know, I, I did some stuff with Prince Harry um, a, a couple of years ago when I was, I, I did his HIV test. Right. Um, um, wow. we, yeah, and um, it, it was amazing actually because it wasn't something we were expecting to happen, but he'd come to visit where I worked. And uh -huh. it was a kind of a suggestion. And he decided to, he would do it. And um, so we did it live and it was, um, it was covered by all the papers and it kind of went completely oh, viral. Wow. Um, so it was quite an interesting time really. But what was interesting for me was the fact that before they arrived, of course, income the secret service, income all the dogs, income police, you know, <laughs> suddenly your place is surrounded by all of these people which keep them secure. But it was really interesting because there was never really an opportunity to get too close. Okay, I was literally touching him, taking his blood and things like that. But, it, you know, you were left with, I wonder who you are. Oh. I think it might be quite nice to have dinner with him to find out who he is. As a date or just to... I'd be happy with the days, but I think that's <laughs> highly unlikely. I think he's found himself a very beautiful and wonderful woman. <laughs> I just one thing, uh, do, were you nervous at the time, of course, the your expression oh, God, around, yes. yes. Yeah, oh, because even when he said yes, I didn't realise um, that suddenly all these cameras were going to start to appear and oh, wow. you know, there were reporters all over the place. So it wasn't just like, I'm just going to take a blood, it's like, I'm going to take a blood and millions of people are going to be watching this live. So, my God, what a privilege! <laughs> my goodness, my God, that's amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm glad you shared that because, oh my God, amazing. Let's go. Cool. I've got two questions left for you. Okay. Two. Okay, let's. What makes you laugh the most? What makes you laugh, what makes me laugh the most? I would say, you know, we were talking about my best friend earlier. Um, I would think he makes me laugh. And also I think the dog makes me laugh. Oh, really? How come? Well, she's such a puppy still. Ooh. And she's uh -huh. so beautiful and she suddenly rolls around and plays and wants to bounce all over you. And and it's the it's her joy, actually. Right. Okay, so I'm going to get some very quick on that last one, okay? One, two, three. Yeah. What's your idea of a perfect friendship? I think the idea of a perfect friendship is that sense of not having to speak sometimes. You know when you can just be with somebody and you can just be quiet and you don't have to make any kind of small talk, you don't have to suggest that we do something. It's just that sense of being with someone. Amazing. And it being okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. I totally agree with you. My God, that's perfect. <laughs> right, just no, let's very quick mm. roll, like uh, exchange roles. You just ask me a question. I am going to ask you a question. Oh, if you, be gentle, could change, be gentle. <laughs> you could change one thing in your life right now to increase your levels of contentment, 
what would it be? Be less anxious, I think. Okay. It would help me to be more focused or, yeah. Yeah, I think that would be... So bring that down. Yes. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Just one thing very quick before you go. I'm going to tell a few words. Just tell me whatever comes to your mind. Okay? Just a quick thing. Right? Uh, we have been through a really very difficult time over these last months and working in the NHS and seeing how brave the staff I have worked with have been has been absolutely remarkable and it's wonderful to have them back it's wonderful to have them back in clinic um, because everybody of course went out to the front line and, and returned and I just think it's amazing how beautiful how caring these people are and absolutely. what the trauma they have experienced absolutely right Thank you very much, Rob. Thank so you. Much. It's absolutely lovely much. to see you. A, you too. Have a great day. Okay. Thanks for doing that. And I'll get back to you and we can organize something soon. All right. Look forward to it. Have a wonderful Thanks. weekend. And to you. Bye bye, Rob. Take care. <laughs> bye. Right. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. I will. <laughs> so, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, to share it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel. And after that, just go to our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye. See you next time.